Well today is wash day. So although I may be roughing it a bit, going off the grid, I'm not that totally stupid. So this is my latest purchase from Alibaba. So they say it's an old fashioned twin tub. I went to Pasco's and said, could you get me a twin tub? And they looked at me as if I'd fell off a tree. So I had to fall for eBay, I'm afraid. 150 quid delivered in the Alaman. Only trouble is I've got to use me a uh, generator. Because it's only 240 volts, but I hope. I suppose there's worse than that about, isn't there? So everything's done manually. Water's heated up on the stove. Tipped in with a bucket. And got my biodegradable eco washing up, uh, washing powder, whatever you call it. So now I'll just nip off and get me a generator. The generator's a Honda. It's a quiet generator, they say. Goodness knows how noisy it would be if it wasn't a quiet one. Being off the grid is okay, but you've still got to live, haven't you? So we'll fire it up and wash away. So after that process has been done, we then have to spin it. Now I think if you folks talk to your grandmothers, they'll probably tell you the days they used to spend washing. Days before automatics. I remember my mother having an old hot point, a big old thing, and wash days for a day to keep away from her. She had four kids and a husband to wash for, and no dryer, just a washing line and a ringer. I don't know really these days how she managed to be fair. So I spin it. And after that, we have to rinse it. We rinse it in cold water because uh, I can't be bothered heating any more than that. This is a once a week process. I'm not sure whether this is as good as an automatic, but it's better than two stones, I can tell you. On the generator is about five years old, cost me a thousand pound, and I wouldn't be without it. There's a stop gap. I must admit, for such a little machine, it does get them quite dry. I can see me now going to a WI meeting discussing the process with some ladies. Sounding reasonably knowledgeable. Hang on, maybe not. That's the right answer. I do like me toys, though. I do like me toys. Bought five more sheep this morning. Easy cares. Go with the flock. Place the ones that got a bit old. You see, half the flock is in front of me. The half's on another farm. The whole process probably takes about an hour. Where well, you used to be shoving the machine and just shove your tablet and go to work. I have to stay here and just keep an eye on it. But it's a lovely day, early September, like an Indian summer today.
Unfortunately, like all of these machines these days, everything comes from China. Well, I think this one came from Taiwan. I'm amazed how dirty I am. I love some people probably would be. So what we'll do now is we fill up the uh, washing tub with clean water. Put in the softener because I have to have my softener. And give it another swirl around. You know, man's work is never done. Never done. Yeah, when these first came out, I think they were done by hand. Even then, you must have thought, what a, what a boom. Water we used is from my little spring. Oh, I can't drink. I think it's good enough to wash my clothes in. back in there, add some more water, got to have me softener, and today I can hear the buzzards flying about me, above me, They're quite common over here I feel these days. I still need to be doing this to myself, but I wouldn't want to be doing it for a family. Yeah, a bit tedious and a bit long winded. It's quite sobering, really, isn't it? For a variety of reasons, really. Uh, first of all, the little machine is called the Super Bright. If you're living in a flat on your own or a caravan, you've got some mains hookup. I could probably say it does a good job. But it uses a lot of water. I didn't realise that. It took 10 gallons just to do that little wash for me. You imagine now, in some of the bigger, oh, shall we say, a family of four or five, that would be close to a, I don't know, in a week, and maybe a hundred gallons. hundred gallons of water to do your washing. You just turn on the tap, chuck in the machine and away you go. I have a great admiration for my mother having bought this machine. As I said, she had a little hot point. I'm trying to find some pictures of it on the web and show you what it was. So it was a full day for her, a full day. And uh, like all good washer people, we put them out to dry in the sun. Because there's nothing fresher is there really. And it's free air. Not polluting anybody, not damaging anything. Creating a problem with the ozone. Just using it the way it was supposed to. I'm quite sad, I have to say. I quite enjoy doing the process, to be honest. It's quite satisfying. And I said it takes me a couple of hours a week. I suppose I would have been better chucking it in a bag and going to the laundrette. But I'm not one for doing those sort of things. I just think it's passing the problem to somebody else and I'm quite capable of doing it. So how would we work on December I was on the land, I don't know. Probably have to use the fire I think. See I've got a uh, an arrow to put around the fire. The old whistling was the cattle telling me it's ready for another load. I 
and you know you have to wash your whites separately to your colours. <laughs> and began to sound quite domesticated. My mother would have been proud. I've not really got to dye anything. So that's got to be the way it came out. This afternoon's plan is to get myself a bit of a sandwich and then we're heading off to do a bit more videoing. I was reminded of a place called Connell Can, which is up in uh, Ronig. And um, I don't have much history on it, to be honest, but it's an awfully attractive Fulton. So we shall finish this process, load the car up and away we go. I'm quite uh, amazed at the old uh, YouTube channel really, we had uh, 350 subscribers, a thousand hours of viewing and uh, 10,000, I don't know what they call them, hitters I suppose, I don't know. And, uh, no, no real criticism, which is quite astonishing, really, because you usually open yourself up for what they call trolls, but I have no trolls, really. I think there's about 30 videos now on my site on YouTube. So I've started off in January, I thought, well, if I get a few people interested and so forth, it'd be good. Because as I keep saying, you know, the Isle of Man is more about the TT races and a cat no tail and the Craig Niche, which is a lovely place. It's got more to offer than that. And um, most of the places I've got video at all, once you can visit. I try to pick the ones you can go to so it doesn't cause too much grief to the farmers. Got enough grief as it is in the world. I've got a new top coming too shortly, I hope, because uh, my ram now is six or seven years old. Fathered thousands of lambs, but eventually they come back upon themselves, and I really don't want to do that. So hopefully, it'll be here before topping time. If he turns up, I'll show you what he looks like. It's no Vexlana, they take a lot of beating, really. Even up here they can survive in the harsh weather, close to 800 feet above sea level. And uh, they'll always say they wouldn't, they do. And what's today's job done? They'll be nice when they come back. Smelling fresh. I can put them away. With a sense of achievement I feel, a sense of achievement. <laughs> 